Revelation 3357. From the 5th of December 1944. Fulfillment of the Divine Commandments. Knowledge of God. To walk the right path on earth requires the fulfillment of divine commandments which, however, are extremely easy to fulfill if the human being lives in love, that is if he has the instinct from within to be good and to do good. Then he does not feel God's commandments as pressure or influence that inhibits him, but he strives of his own accord for the same things God demands of him, and then he also walks the right path. Then he does not need commandments because his nature changes to love of its own accord and because his will strives towards God, thus the spiritual in him already stands in the recognition of the eternal deity, even if the human being is not aware of it or he has knowledge corresponding to it. The knowledge is certainly already slumbering in him but has not yet come to light, and yet his soul recognizes God otherwise it would not strive for the good. The human being will also strive for perfection, for his heart, which is willing and able to love, impels him to constant activity in love. His actions and thoughts therefore do not contradict the commandments of love which God has given in order to make it possible for people to walk according to his will. For many people's knowledge of good and evil is not so developed because the inner will is still turned towards God's adversary. The latter clouds man's clear perception of good and evil, he presents evil in such a light that it seems tempting to him. And thus a person who has fallen prey to his influence, who allows all bad instincts to take effect in him, can nevertheless be convinced within himself that he is acting right for he only sees his own benefit and considers everything to be good which brings him advantage. The deeper he sinks, that is falls into the power of God's adversary, the more his knowledge of good and evil fades away. And the divine commandments shall now be a guideline for him as soon as he earnestly endeavors to live rightly on earth. For time and again his wrong way of life must be held up to him and the divine commandments must apply to him as a standard by which his deeds are evaluated and judged. The commandment of love will always put one's own advantage aside and protect the neighbor's advantage, and only when the human being observes this will he begin to submit to these commandments. For the person under the influence of the adversary individual commandments had to be issued by which he can recognize the wrongness of his thinking and acting. The person standing in love, on the other hand, does not need these commandments, it is not possible for him to transgress the individual commandments because love keeps him from doing what a person without love does without hesitation. In a person active in love the good forces are active and these keep him from every thoughtless bad deed, whereas the person distant from God, who is devoid of all love, gives access to the forces of evil and these repeatedly drive him to carry out unloving actions. But if every single commandment is held up to him, the sense of responsibility for his actions can also be awakened in him and he then carries out a bad deed with inhibitions which can even result in a change of his thinking, provided that he decides to change his way of life in anticipation of a life after death which seems forfeit to him. Then he directs his attention to the salvation of his soul, then he seizes every opportunity to gain information about God's will, and he seriously repents of his failed life, and then he seeks to change. He detests himself and his previous actions, he recognizes the divine commandments and henceforth endeavors to live in accordance with them. And only then is he granted spiritual success, that is, his soul can still develop upwards shortly before his death, and although its degree of maturity is still low, it nevertheless enters the spiritual kingdom with the realization of the eternal deity, and it is no longer completely turned away from God. As soon as it acknowledges God and his commandments it is saved, it is on its way upwards, its upward development has begun and the soul also reaches its goal even if not on earth, 
but one day in the spiritual kingdom. Yet as long as the human being ignores the divine commandments or associates the fulfillment of these with earthly advantages, the soul will remain on the lowest spiritual level, and then it will also remain in dark spiritual night. It does not recognize God and cannot love him either, it will not strive towards him but turn to God's adversary, who, however, can never make the soul knowledgeable thus does not impart the knowledge of God to it either. And it is this knowledge which humanity lacks, the knowledge of a God of love who is omnipotent and wise and wants to win people over for himself. As soon as the human being is in knowledge, as soon as he believes in God as the supremely perfect being, he will also take notice of what this supreme being requires of the human being and he will do this out of innermost impulse, because love for God awakens in him and he seeks to join the supreme, most perfect being. And then he does not need any commandments, but he is full of love for God and his neighbor from within. Amen.